Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Marty's Toy Box. Superstore is over. I waited until 4 p.m. to come to WWE World. So as soon as you walk in, there's lines going everywhere. So you got an entrance stage over here. You have a Legends era area over here. So we're gonna look at all this. Oh, they got some classic stuff. It's very foggy in here. Women's World Championship. Io Sky, Oscar Bianca Belair. The Women's World Heavyweight Championship. Over here, they have old belts. Like, look at this right there. That is insane. Well, definitely some classics here. Old Intercontinental. Ring used Universal Championship right there. Over here, we have the WWF Women's Championship, which is just insane to see in person. Then you have the WWF Women's Championship here. Look at how old and dirty and rust, like not rusted, but messed up that strap is. That is insane. And then over here, you do have the WWF purple strap, oval IC, just like that. We have more, there's an intercontinental. On this side, we have the Gunther ring used intercontinental title right there. The ring used Logan Paul United States Championship. As you see, this one has Velcro on it right there. Over here we do have, oh my goodness, the 1979 to 1984 Intercontinental Championship. That, that is insane to see in person. Over here you do have the tag titles. Stamping on these is insane. Just like that. Going over more, this is the whole entrance stage. People are doing custom entrances. This is their whole ECW area over here. Did you see they have mannequins with ring used gear on it? Oh my god. They have a show going on over here, it looks like. Or no, pictures you can get. We're right here. Look at that. That is crazy. ECW World Championship circa 1985. It's very foggy in here. Oh my goodness. It's like a bunch of smokers doing smoking at one time. Over here there is a little bloodline dining room setup. Right there. As you see they have Bray Wyatt stuff over there. A whole Firefly Funhouse setup right here. Which is pretty cool. Rest in peace, Bray Wyatt. Over here they do have a ring in the middle which I'm assuming is where wrestlers are going to be and where shows are going to happen. They have the CM Punk's mannequin right there reenacting the pipe bomb. You see there is the ring. Over here, you do have the Hall of Fame class with mannequins of their ring used gear on each side. I really don't want to wait in these lines. Harley Race, Alundra Blaze, Jerry Lawler, everyone. This is their YouTube play button, which is kind of odd for them to have in here. Uh, let's see, I don't want to miss anything. Over here, they do have shooting going on. It looks like, oh, that's where they shoot uh, the Pat McAfee show at. That's pretty cool. There's a bunch of people sitting over here eating, stuff like that. There's a cafe over there. Over here, we do have a CM Punk mannequin once again. CM Punk uh, trunks on. You have images to take in front of the Judgment Day. Over here is, I don't even know what this is. They have a low rider over here. Oh, this is sick to see in person. They have a low rider right there. They have the Triple H on the throne from its WrestleMania entrance. Oh my goodness. They have C4s over here. I'm actually gonna grab one real quick. Let's cut. All right, my C4 is required. Look at that. These things are actually delicious. So you got the low rider there. These lights don't look good on the camera. Over here, you do have the War Games cage. Which I kind of want to get into if I'm allowed to. I think I'm allowed to. Wow, so I am currently in the cage that uh, War Games happened in. That's 
that's pretty cool honestly all right over here you do have the rock race car right there oh my goodness there's so much stuff out of the vaults for wwe in this and this thing just goes on and on i don't even know where to go because i missed stuff up front we're gonna wrap around okay we're doing this all in one take baby over here you have king of the ring gear a whole attitude era section yeah, beer coolers, stone cold, or truck, everything like that. Excuse me. Going over here, you have lines for what looks like meet and greets. I don't want to get in the line for that because screw that. There's a sea of people over there. Over here, they have popcorn and stuff. Person to keep walking. This is a whole stage for shows that are going on. It's probably where the Undertaker's Dead Man show is going to happen. This is the whole seating area over here. I did not mean to get this way, but hey, here we are. I do see a WWE big logo in the distance, which we're gonna go to and check out. So we're gonna cut through the line here. You guys get this all in one take, look at that. So you get the WWE logo, excuse me, right there. You have stages over there for meet and greets. Let's see, who is that? Cody Rhodes right there doing meet and greets. That's pretty cool. Cody Rhodes is like 20 feet away from me. Going over here, you have a UFC challenge it looks like. So over here, they're actually giving tattoos to people. Legitimate, real, lifelong tattoos so you can get at the Superstore. Or at the World Experience. Over here you have a Fanatic Sportsbook area. Hello. That guy says hello. Maybe he sees us later on, maybe not. We will find out. So you do have a UFC punching bag right there that you can do. Over here you have a life-size Cody Rhodes Funko Pop that you can get into. They have The Rock over there as well. This is the 2K24 Gameplay Lounge. Look at that. There's so much cool stuff in here. You guys definitely have to go. Uh, that guy's shirtless. Just gonna ignore that. Don't really know what that is. The Rock Funko Pop here. But so going over here, you have face painting going on. So many activities, everything like that. That's the kid zone. And this is a show right here, a live show. The Miz and Peter Sandalikes. Look at that. And I think I have officially speed run the entire WWE world very quickly. So let me know what you guys think of this. If you're in Philly, you have to come to this.